I take my, my pill every morning uh, and I get on with my life. Um, I woke up in an ambulance um, which led to the discovery of a brain tumour, which turned out to be um, a brain metastasis. Um, so I now have secondary breast cancer in my bones and in my brain, uh, and I'm being treated with an aggressive regime of, of drugs, um, and so far I'm stable. My oncologist said, well, we have this, you know, this new drug, palpocyclic, which is a really, you know, a really exciting, amazing new development in terms of being able to target just the cancer cells, a very targeted therapy. Um, so I'm on that now. I'm on that every, um, I take it for three weeks and I have one week off. I'm very carefully monitored in terms of my, um, my blood. Uh, but palvo, given that I, I feel relatively well, allows me to be on the bike, which for me is a huge benefit. Um, I just forget I have cancer when I'm on the bike. Uh, there's none of the, you know, kind of the effects around, you know, changes to your, your, your body really and your hair and things. It's just a much more manageable and um, softer drug. Um, and so far it seems to be doing its job, so long may that continue. Um, it seemed like for a long time there was no real um, new treatments for metastatic breast cancer. Uh, and with Pablo coming out um, and the number of other trials going on, it's actually quite encouraging that actually there is hope today. Um, so, you know, very grateful for institutions like the ICR that uh, help support uh, research and trials. Um, it's so important to, you know, have these new drugs coming through the pipeline. Um, so just delighted to see the, you know, the kind of the pace of change is, is, is really quite inspiring.